guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you a spoiler free review of World War Z by Max Brooks. So I wasn't sure if I was actually going to review this book because I wasn't sure if I had that much to say but a few of you guys asked for the review and you were interested to hear my thoughts so I decided to get off my butt. Well technically I am sitting on my butt but you know what I mean. To get off my hypothetical butt and film this review. So this book is not my typical read. I did pick up this book based on a recommendation. Shh. Shut up, phone. So World War Z is not my typical read, although I do like zombies. Well, not actually like zombies, but I like zombie themed TV shows and things like that. I haven't actually ever read a zombie book. This book was recommended to me and I was quite intrigued by it and I am trying to push outside my comfort zone a little. So I ordered it and I read it and here are my thoughts. So World War Z has a very unique narrative. This book is written in the form of interviews. Each chapter is written as an interview with a different person who was present at the zombie war. These people come from all walks of life. They come from all over the globe. They have different positions in society. Some are civilians, some are politicians, some are doctors, some are from the army. And it's really, really interesting because each one of them has a different stance and a different opinion and a different experience of the zombie war. Now because I am an absolute fool and sometimes it takes me a little while to cotton on, I actually took a few chapters before I realised that the interviewer was talking to different people because I'm thick. With that being said, once I understood the style, I would say I read probably the first half of the book pretty quickly. I really enjoyed it. I really found that it was fast paced. I really liked the way that it felt like hidden files that had been discovered, you know, years and years later after the zombie war. And I found that I liked the way that certain issues in the book were very relevant to today's society. Everything from politics to refugees to doctors it was all conversations and experiences that actually, if you strip away the zombie element, could be applicable to our own society today. And I found that to be very clever and also quite terrifying. The main criticism I would have with this book is each interview is obviously with a different person. Now, sometimes these interviews were very unique and you really got a sense of the individual characters. However, there were some interviews with different people that felt very samey to the people that we'd spoken to previously and that kind of felt a little bit jarring in a way. In addition to that, I felt like the pacing was a little bit off. I read the first, I'd say, 50 pages really, really quickly, got to 100 pages, got to about 150 and I was really, really enjoying it. But once I hit the 60% mark, I found that my interest in the book began to wane. In your typical novel, of course, you have the three act structure and by the time you get to the 60-70% mark, you're kind of gearing up to the climax and I felt like this book didn't do that and that's fine because that wasn't what it was intended to be, but I do feel like even given the narrative structure, this book still could have upped the intensity. It could have been done in a way where, I don't know, two people were in a very similar location and it kind of went a certain way and then the next person would carry on the story from the same angle and just give it that that intensity, that climax, that build up that makes you not want to put down the book. And I felt like I felt like a lot of these interviews could have been read in any order and it wouldn't really have made much of a difference and that kind of frustrated me a little bit. I would say this book is very unique. I did enjoy it. There's no denying that. I did enjoy the book. I don't feel like it's a book that is going to stay with me for a long time. Although I really enjoyed it in the beginning, like I said, my interest in it did go down. And at some points I found myself actually skim reading parts of it because I just felt like in some bits we were being told the same thing over and over. In the end, I gave this book three out of five stars, which I think is fair. I do think it's a very clever book. I think there's a lot of you guys out there that will enjoy it, but I do think as well, for me personally, I missed having a protagonist. I missed having a real arc, a real structure and I guess even though I think the idea of it is clever and I like the structure of it, it's just not really for me. So yeah, this book was a bit hit and miss for me. I found that I did enjoy the beginning more than the end. I would encourage you guys to read it if you like zombie books and yeah, those are my thoughts.
If you've read the book, I'd really like to know your opinions because I know that quite a lot of people are divided on it. Some of you seem to love it, some of you seem to hate it. Are there any people out there that feel the same as me, kind of in the middle? If you have read it and would like to leave me your thoughts, please leave them below because I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!